Today we're going to be showing you how to put together a computer from scratch featuring Sarah Gonzalez, Kai Jackson, and myself, Tari Jackson. The first thing you will want to do when getting access into your motherboard is start off by removing the chassis. And to do that, you want to pull up this lever and pull up slightly. And it opens as you pull it open. And therefore you just take it off and get access to your motherboard here. First, you're gonna start off by removing your hard drive. This square rectangular piece right here is called your hard drive. And to remove so, first you want to remove this black cable right here, which is called your SATA cable. You want to slightly tug to remove from your hard drive disc, and also your power cables from the hard drive, which is, this is your power supply right here. And you want to slightly tug also to remove those cables from it. And to release your hard drive from your whole desktop here, you will want to move here, this lever. And as you do so, it will come out as easy as that. To insert your hard drive back into your desktop, you will want to replug your SATA cable into the back of your hard drive. Make sure you put it into the right slot though. So I'm gonna do so by inserting my SATA cable first. Make sure it's the right way. Then you will want to insert your power supply cables back into your hard drive also. Make sure the cables do not come out as you are inserting them. Now to officially put the hard drive back into its placement, you want to guide it. First put one side in. Make sure it snaps in, that's so. Now the final piece you want to is just put your chassis back mm -hmm. on. Make sure when you're putting your chassis back on, you have this little latch right here. That indicates when the chassis is fully closed, you will hear a little snap of some sort. Place it in like such. And that snap right there lets you know it's fully closed and you're good to go. To remove your optical drive, you have to start by removing your faceplate. You do that by pressing down the prongs and removing it off. Then the next step is to pull down this lever or pull up this lever. Push your optical drive through and disconnect the Molex connector cable and the SATA cable. And that is how you remove this. To reinstall your optical drive, you start by taking it in your hand and placing it in the slot. Push it through. Pull this lever up that you pulled down to begin with. Once it's pushed through, you take your SATA cable from the motherboard, place it back into its port. And then you take your power cable and reconnect the Molex connector. And then you replace your faceplate. To remove your power supply, you start by disconnecting all of your Molex connectors from the motherboard. Remove your power supply from underneath the metal prongs, the cable cords, and then you push forward and push up. And then just make sure none of your cords are caught and safely remove. To um, place your power supply back into your computer case, you start by pushing this onto the metal hinges and sliding it back into place. And then you take all of your power cables, place them under the metal prongs to keep it in place, and then you reconnect your Molex connectors back to the motherboard. To remove your RAM off of the motherboard, you start by disconnecting these and then it'll either pop out of place or you can pull it up and that's how you take it out. To reinsert your RAM on back to your motherboard, you start by placing it into a PCI slot. And then to make sure it's in place, you snap back those prongs and it is in place. What I will be doing is showing you how to 
remove the heat sink and the CPU. So we will start off by unscrewing the four screws on each side. So after you're done unscrewing the four screws around it, you then remove it and disconnect it from the port. And that's how you remove the heat sink. Now in order to remove the CPU, you will have to push this up to the side and push this back towards you. Then you would carefully get the CPU and remove it. So now in order to put the CPU back, you will have to place it back on here. Then put this down and then put this back into place and then there you go. So now in order to put back the heat sink, you will have to place it on top of the CPU and then screw the four sides again. You, don't, you can pause it. So once you get done, I mean, screwing those back in, then you will have to put the port back in, and there you go.